Okay, for this problem we need to solve the triangle and we're given two pieces of information. We want to find all the rest of the information given here. So we have two angles that are missing. Now typically for problems we've done in previous sessions, we usually would have an uh, at least one other angle given to where we could set up a trig function and put that in our calculator and solve. Well now we don't have two angles given, so which means that we're going to have to use an inverse trig function on this one to find one of the missing angles, which is why this problem uh, is given in this section. So what we can do first of all, before we set up any of the inverse trig functions, we do have enough information to solve for side BC because it's a right triangle and we have two out of the three sides that are given. So the first thing you want to do is do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. In this case, the C is actually given. It's the angle opposite, the side opposite the uh, 90 degrees. So that's 3 squared of 5, and we're going to square that. The A, this is 3 squared, and then I have the B, which is unknown. We're trying to solve for, for B, so we're going to do 9. Now, when you square this, we have to square both things on the inside of the parentheses. Don't forget to square both. The 3 gets squared, that's 9, and then the radical goes away when you square this, so we really get 9 times 5, or we get 45 for that one. We're going to subtract 9 from both sides. B squared is equal to 36. We want to take the square root of both sides. So we get B is equal to, normally it would be plus or minus 6, but in this case because we have a triangle, we're just going to use the positive version on that, so we get 6 centimeters for side BC. Now that's complete, we need to find the measurement of A and measurement of angle B. Now normally if we had two out of the three angles, we could subtract those from 180 to get the third one, but this time we don't have enough information for that, so we have to use a trig function to, uh, to set up for this one. So in the notes, I actually used the three centimeters and three squared of five, and I did that because that was the two sides originally given, and, and, and I was able to get the answer that way. However, you don't have to be to use only the two sides given originally. Since we found this side to be six, we could also work with these two sides as well. Now these two sides might be easier to work with only because they're whole numbers, so it might be easier to do, it might be easier to put into our calculator instead of dealing with a, a root. So I'm going to do a trig function that relates the three and the six. Now if I'm going to do that, I'm looking, if I want to go for A, I'll start with measurement angle A first. Then, if I'm using A, the opposite angle, the side opposite angle A, since that's the one I'm working with here, and that's what I want to find, that's six. So that means the adjacent side is going to have to be 3. So I want a trig function that relates to the opposite and the adjacent side. That's going to be our tangent. So what I'll do is I'm going to do tangent of A is going to have to equal 6 over 3, opposite over adjacent. Or I'll get tangent A equals 2 if I simplify. Now this part right here, since I, since I can't put an angle in to get an answer, I need to get A by itself. The only way to get A by itself is by taking the inverse. So I want to get rid of the tangent there, so I'm going to put an inverse tangent out in front there. But when I do the one side, I have to also do to the other side. I'm taking inverse tangent of both sides. Inverse tan here and that tan, that's going to cancel and you're just going to get A by itself. So I have A equals inverse tangent of 2 and now this is the one I want to put into my calculator. When I do, I get 63.43 degrees. That's my measurement for angle A. That's going to be this one here, 63.43 degrees. So what I have now is I have a situation where I have two out of the three angles given in the triangle. I found, found that one. So now the last thing I want to find is measurement angle B. Now I can do that by just subtracting these two things from 180. So to get this answer, I'll just do 180 minus 63.43, then minus 90 degrees. So if I do all that, what you should get for the final answer would be 26.57 degrees, and that, that means that now we, our triangle is going to be solved. We found all the missing sides and all the missing angles.